All right. All right, I've got that down. It takes exactly a minute. Now I know. Um, uh, okay, Yasmin, are you are you ready? I'll, what I usually do, I'll just give a quick introduction, and um, and then I'll hand it over to you, and then I'll just be in the chat, sort of summarize. Okay. Sound good? Okay, let's yeah, see. Good. Uh, no. Um, what do I have? I have some screens up somewhere here. Um, okay, welcome everybody. Um, it's the uh, We Believe in Comics Friday Night Workshops, and you're at the Sequential Artist Workshop. Thanks for being here. Um, you can find us at learn.sawcomics.org. Um, we're a nonprofit school. We have lots of courses. We have big programs and little programs and free programs, and you can come find out about it at learn.sawcomics.org. Um, some things coming up. We have a, a course with Leela Corman starting in January and a course with Josh Bayer starting in January. Um, next Friday night workshop is with Josh Bayer. It's, it's uh, December 23rd. Um, we also have some new sort of ongoing things. Georgia Weber drawing health on Saturdays and J.D. Lunt sustainable diary, diary comics on Monday. And we want you to be a sustaining member, but I never really talk about it much. So we'll get there sooner or later. Um, so share what you do tonight at um, on social media with the hashtag Friday Night Comics. We are at Comics Workshop. That's our tag. Um, and I'll make sure Yasmin's is in there in the chat. Um, you can join us at members.sawcomics, sawcomics.org to share other stuff. Um, thanks to everybody who donated tonight or any other Friday it really helps us um, keep these things free and, and keep a lot, of, uh, a lot of what we do going. Um, this is a, a bunch of, a ton of stuff we did in 2021. I actually have to update that for 2022, but we're trying always to do good things for the world. Um, so if you want to donate, you can either spend it on a crap game like Popeye, uh, or you can donate to Saw, and it's nonprofit, so it's tax deductible and all that stuff, and we'll give you some info about that later. Okay, please no inappropriate speech or imagery. Keep it PG-13, please. Enjoy. And Yasmin Abdafar, I'm so, you know, your stuff is so cool and I've been staring at it so much, especially all the stuff on your website. It's so beautiful. And like, I'm really kind of cheesed off that that death blooms out of print because now I can't get a copy. <laughs> Maybe if you can pull some strings, you can get me a copy. But anyway, I'm really happy um, you're here. I'm going to stop sharing if I can find that button. And um, and and let's see, you're spotlighted. Yeah. So so welcome and thank you for being here and and show us um, show us what you want to show us. Yeah, thank you so much, Tom, for having me. Words. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And you guys see that okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought this was really cool to think of like something to teach. Um, I've done a little bit of teaching, but thinking of like kind of like a workshop was really fun. So, I just sort of settled on the idea of like, expressing yourself through your character, which, you know, I think we all do. So I'm going to sort of go about how I approach that sort of um, pipeline of things, like how I conceive of a character and what I try to go in with that character. Um, so about me, um, I like the images that uh, Tom pulled. So I'm based in the Bay. I was born and raised here. Um, I, 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 I got an MFA, uh, that was one thing that was really unique for me. I didn't really necessarily have like an art school experience prior to going to the MFA. I would argue even the MFA was a little bit, you were kind of left your own devices. So I kind of had a lot of time to explore what I wanted to do, what I didn't want to do. I came in with like a concentration in painting particularly, and it gave me like two or three months and then I was like oh my god I hate painting this is awful <laughs> and um I've always sort of gravitated towards comics and illustrations and animation and I just let myself sort of explore that further and just be like okay I should just make the thing I want to make you know like I shouldn't try to make a painting look like a comic or an illustration it's fine to just do those sorts of things 
Um, but it was a really good time to get like installation work in, kind of putting things in a physical space. Uh, a lot of the work I've done for a really long time was digital. I didn't really print anything. It was just like, I started on like DeviantArt. I would just post things on DeviantArt. And then I went from Tumblr to like other social media platforms. So like having a space where it's like, you can think about your work. Um, just thinking about my work and making it was really productive. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, I was going to talk about the recent book that I put out. Um, and I did see when I pulled these images that it's uh, sold out on the publisher's website. I believe they're ramping down for the winter, they need to repair their Rezo. But on Silver Sprocket's website, it's still in stock. So if any of you want it, it should be in stock. I don't know how many copies are there, but uh, they do online orders. So that's something to plug. Um, okay, so <laughs> another thing about my background is that my bachelor's was in psychology, but I'm not going to, you know, psychoanalyze or do any therapy lessons, but I always think that's a little interesting. Um, I think it was informative, but it, it's, you know, it's just something a little, little tidbit about me. Anyway, so to, like, what I think about expressing yourself, a lot of the work that I do, if I looked at it, like, in a third person way, I think a lot of the stuff that I do is very autobiographical. I'm really talking about something I'm thinking about or exploring or I've gone through, but I'm not necessarily putting my uh, name and face to the image. I'm creating a lot of little characters that kind of do that for me. Uh, for a long time, there was a lot of shame I had. I was like, why is my art, you know, I should maybe my art should be more, you know, like a little smarter and like out of my perspective and more, you know, but for me right now, like I have so much emotionally that I want to like get through. So I think having the space to do that and allowing myself to do that is really important. Um, I think one thing I learned a lot in my MFA is like thinking about an audience. I never thought about an audience, right? So I think one thing that we can think about is maybe the audience member can be you. Maybe you just want to make this thing just for you. And I think that allowing yourself to feel like you can do that is great. I think just <laughs> focusing on yourself and finding catharsis and making art is probably one of the best things about it. Um, so yeah, the the way that since I do cartoons, we're doing like, you know, we're doing little cartoons. The way I try to think of it is like a character is a bit of a, like a proxy or like a puppet that we're giving these emotions and this personhood to, right? So um, one thing that you might think is, oh, okay, like let's do a comic with people in it, which I've done. But I think one thing that I really like is to do things that are not human, like uh, like abstracted things like a fire or like a weed or a plant. Um, because I think that we can kind of imagine the kinds of emotions, those sorts of things would have. Um, and I think also like a cartoon character or something a bit more abstracted can really evoke a lot more empathy. I think something like sometimes this might be me, you know, like if there's a scene of a character crying in a live action film, sometimes if they're not really selling it, if it doesn't feel, you know, I, it doesn't feel, it feels a little tacky and I kind of laugh at it, but there's something about like a little cartoon character that looks really sad and depressing that you're like, you feel really related to. Um, so basically like each character can have an emotion that we essentially, the way that I go about it is that I'm mirroring my emotion in the character. So for example, like Snoopy, like the little sad <laughs> guy from before. Um, there's a lot of ways that, you know, we can express ourselves through this dog. Like dogs have some things that we have, right? Like they can be bored. They can want attention. They want connection. They want to play. They want to bark just because they want to bark. We all have those similar characteristics. We all have those similar emotions, but I think it's really great to see it coming from a dog. You know, we can like express ourselves through something that isn't ourselves. Um, so sort of like to visually give it, it's like my emotion sort of can influence the character that I decide to use. That's another thing. So like, let's say bringing it back to like Snoopy or a dog, if I'm feeling really playful or I'm feeling very energetic, maybe the character I want to choose for my work will be a dog. But if I'm feeling um, 
I'm trying to think of like characteristics of a cat. If I'm thinking that I'm like more lonesome and moody, maybe a cat would be a better character to evoke that. So I, that's sort of the way that I go about it. Like if there's the emotion that I'm afraid of touch and sensation, it makes sense to have a character that's a fire because in my, the way I'm reading a fire is that it's maybe afraid to be, you know, touched because it'll burn things. But you could also see a fire as something that wants to burn things, wants to spread because a fire spreads. So there's like multiple ways you can go about it. It's basically how you feel and then what you want to read from the character. It's like, these are like little panels from this comic I did burnt. So it's like, that's sort of how I went about it. It's like, I want to, I wanted to do a comic about intimacy and touch. So I was like, oh, maybe a fire would be a really, like having a character that's literally on fire would be a good way to just describe that emotion. Um, so this is like another panel from that. So another one, mm -hmm. um, I feel expendable and forgotten. So a weed, right? Like a weed is something that we don't really give regard to, even though that the idea of a weed is like very arbitrary, that there are a lot of their native uh, plants of the places you inhabit. Like there's a lot of merit to them, but we often pluck them out. We don't think of them as important. So like, that's kind of the way that I went about this comic, right? Like these were the emotions I had and I wanted to use and think of a character that would make the most sense. And it can be like on the nose. I don't think there's anything wrong. Like again, like going back to like a dog, like if you're thinking that you're very playful and you choose a dog, like you don't have to choose something that doesn't make sense. I think again, like going back to like making stuff just for you, I think it's also making the stuff that feels right for you. Cause for me, like a fire felt right. A weed felt right. You shouldn't really push against those um, impulses. So for today's exercise, <laughs> I wanted to just sort of all of you who are going to like participate um, and we'll share later. Obviously we're not all, you know, whoever wants to share, we'll share, but I would just right now put in your head, like one emotion you want to explore further in a visual way. Like I put some uh, examples up when I was thinking about the negative ones. I was like, okay, I got this. Like I know a million things I could write. And then the positive ones, I was like, okay, I got to put some positive things. So <laughs> I often do things that are, you know, like that there's some sort of negative, negative emotion that I'm traversing. And so that's usually my tendency, but I think that this is a really great um, method to do for even positive emotions, right? Like there's a lot of amazing characteristics in our lives, in nature, in the world that just can, you know, that have happiness. Again, like a dog is just like a naturally happy thing. Um, so yeah, I would just give you like, just in the back of your mind, think of an emotion, whatever it is. <laughs> um, and so when you're thinking of the emotion, I would ask yourself what kind of thing could represent that emotion in a physical way so if that makes sense it's basically like okay so let's say the emotion I have is that I'm feeling really trapped or I feel really like tangled or like in myself so it's like what kinds of things would make sense like oh maybe a rope maybe a root maybe like the dirt I often go through very, I often go towards very naturalistic things, but you could also do animals. Um, I feel like that's also a great way to go about this. You can also do like abstracted things like a melody, a song, uh, wind, you know, it doesn't have to be um, of nature. It could even just be like stars. So like another example would be kind of if you're feeling very isolated or alone, Maybe the moon would be a good example because the moon sort of stands in its solitude, right? Or maybe if you're feeling really like illuminated and excited and content, maybe the moon would also be a good example because it stands as like this passage of time and it's really bright and illum. You know, like there's multiple ways you can go about it. And, it, you know, if it makes sense for you, then it makes sense. I think that we all have different conceptions of how we read things. I think when we see certain things, like for me, if I see a flower, I inherently think it's a very happy thing. 
I'm like, oh, it's a happy thing. Like, it's so happy, right? Like we read things as from our own perception. Like maybe I was raised to really appreciate nature and like see those things as a happy thing. Um, but if your life experience, you see a flower and you think of something else, then that's swell. I don't think there's any rules to sort of ascribing that. Um, so going back to the thing that I said of like, I'm feeling very like crowded and tangled and like nervous. So I thought of a root system, right? So that was what I thought of. Like maybe I'm feeling a little bit like stuck in myself and I want to feel like I can spread out, but I'm like a tree inside a suburban little lot that I'm like stuck and I have a bunch of things around me, or maybe I'm in a pot that's like overcrowded and all my roots are like going within myself. Maybe my, you know, I'm getting overwatered. And so my, I have root rot, or maybe again, like I want to try to also encourage like, you know, positive things. Maybe I'm a very flourishing root system. Maybe I'm like spreading all the way out. Maybe I'm feeling like, everything is nourishing me and I feel very, you know, satiated. Um, so that's, um, that's sort of my example. Um, so those are the things to have in mind. So basically going back, imagine like choose an emotion you want to explore and then what character would represent that emotion. Um, so I'm going to split the drawing time to like two. So for the first part, I just want you guys to think of like design, like <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do is like design a character. I often want to do this more than I actually want to do a comic. I want to just make a bunch of characters. So I would, we're going to draw together and sort of spend the five, like five minutes just thinking of what it would look like, you know, and it, uh, I'm going to choose the root as the example and put kind of those words up. Um, so I'm going to share my screen of my iPad and then you guys let me know if you see it okay. Yeah, this is super cool, Jasmine. Thank you. Yeah, of course. It just takes like a few seconds. You guys yep. see that? Tangled, rotten, flourishing, overcrowded. Cool. cool. So yeah, we're just going to spend the next five minutes drawing. Um, One thing that I like to do, which I'm not doing, <laughs> is when I'm designing a character, I like to look at, again, I do a lot of plants and like nature and things, but I like to like pull the actual imagery and like have it side by side and sort of think about it, like notice things about the design of the plant or the creature or whatever it is that I like. Um, Obviously, five minutes isn't enough to pull references for all of you. So maybe you're remembering <laughs> it from your brain, <laughs> which I am a little bit, but. Do you have plants there in Oakland? Do you have a little uh, container garden or even a yard or something? 
Yeah, I just moved. I'm sort of in the process of, I want to do the front yard a little bit. It's just been so cold that, I don't know, I, I want to go to the nursery, but if I go, it'll be, it'll be a whole thing. <laughs> but I do have a bunch of indoor plants. I think it's been about like five minutes, but we'll, I'll give you guys a little more time. Um, I cheated a little bit. I already did some drawings <laughs> before this, but it's I been just, about three and a half, actually. I've been three and a half? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Just keep drawing, but I'll show my other things. I drew some more little guys. Um, some more guys. Oh, what there's different, Yeah. There's different types of roots, too. Like, there's like a, like a dandelion root, has like a big, um like this big tap root which it kind of look, looks ridiculous but it goes like that mm. it's another thing that's another thing I, it like if if this is something that you want to do and like you want to learn about the thing you want I think that helps to like learn a little bit about the I guess the biology or whatever the physicality or facts about it also helps like learning that there are different types of root systems and what they do would be another thing that I would do if I wanted to like make a comic about roots. Um, yeah, so I have these little uh, guys, but. When you say overcrowded, is that an external feeling or an internal feeling? Like, is it, do you know what I mean? Do you, are you talking about you and society or are you talking about internally in your head? I think in t for me, like for what I'm thinking about when I wanted to choose a route, I felt internally like uh -huh. the, there's like, I could also think of overcrowding as like being really busy, mm. <laughs> having too much going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, these, you know, I feel like a lot of emotions can also be tied up in the external things we're going through as well. Right. Like yeah. what our, um, like half of our psychology is essentially our, uh, nurturing right the environment we live in so yeah that's a good way to something to consider um another thing i like to do when i'm designing like a character is think about other things that it could look like like or be reminiscent of like maybe my root guy looks a little bit alien or looks like um like a neuron Mm -hmm. nerve cell because that can be fun um you can be really accurate about it or you can like not even be that accurate about it again my my rules are that there's no rules <laughs> <laughs> Now it's been about six. Six minutes. Okay. Like, yeah. So I like, you know, uh, I'm settling on this big headed thing. <laughs> so I'm um, going to stop sharing this. I'm going to share my just takes like two seconds. You guys see my? Um, we see it. It says no. I mean, we we see that you're screen sharing, but we don't see what it is. It says double click to enter full screen mode. Um, Let me see. Does that work? Yeah. Now we see. Now what would I look like? Five minutes drawing character. Mm -hmm. cool. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sean. Um, sure. So um, 
I, I want to see your guys' characters, but I, what I want to do is, is like at the end to share. I think that would be good. Um, sure. What I'm thinking is that, you know, whatever paper you have the character on, you can keep that. And then for the next paper, whatever you're doing it on, you can have the comic and we can share both at the end because I think um, that'll be great. And I'm excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> so basically my prompt is to just make a one page comic with the character that you made exploring the emotion of the character. So basically the task at hand is remember your original emotion that we thought of, and then try to, again, like I'm gonna go back to the roots, right? So it's like, for me, I'm feeling a little bit tangled or nervous or overcrowded in myself. And, and I wanna like spread out, but I can't cause I'm maybe stuck in a pot, maybe again, other things that I brought up that it's like, so, um, maybe the four or five or six, whatever panels you want to do is exploring that. Um, and so I'm using my original emotion of just feeling like a little bit trapped in myself, using the root to sort of evoke that. So that's maybe something the the root system would feel. Um, does that make sense, everyone? Does anyone have any questions before we hop into it? Not seen any in the chat yet, but that's cool. Are you going to do one too? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna switch again. Uh -huh. You guys so see good, okay? Yeah, yeah, but now we can. So what okay. do you think, 15 minutes total, 20 minutes? I wouldn't go any longer than 20, but it's up to you. I think 15 is good. Okay, we'll um, do 15 minutes. Yeah, and yeah, before we go, like any questions, everyone's good. How, some people are saying how many panels? I know you said it could be five or six. You've got four up there. Yeah, I, it can be as many panels as you want. Um, I already have four because I didn't want to bore you guys with making panels because it's like boring. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as many as you want. If you want an amount of panels, because it would help you to have a guideline, I think four is good. Just kind of, you can lay it out even just directly like this, but if you want to do like 10 or like whatever mm -hmm. it fills a page, feels great. If you don't even want to do any panels, you just want to do a bunch, you know, you don't have to even do panels. So yeah. Awesome, thanks. Okay. All right. Okay, start.
Is that a timer? <laughs> no, it's just a random notification. Oh, okay. <laughs> possible to turn them off. That's all good. Um, I do think you know how much time is left? Or is... Three or four. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure. This is so fun. I'm already taking pictures for Instagram. Oh, great. <laughs> um, I'm done. Um, I can give like a few more minutes. I'll just, are we good on time or? Yeah, if you want, you know, we can, um, we can start taking a look at others and um, other people sort of work in the background. Yeah. That Does that sound good? If that, I'll let you, uh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Oh yeah, thank you so much. I'm gonna stop sharing so I can see all of you. Um, will you do me a favor? Go, if you're on an iPad, it might be different, but raise your Zoom hand. It might be under reactions. Oh, like my face. Um, yeah. One second. And that'll, um, and the reason we do that is just, it'll just push you up to the top of the grid. Because if too many people, can you find right. them? maybe when someone I, who's on an iPad a lot might know where that is? Yeah, when I um, you'll say raise hand. Oh, there we go. Hey, <laughs> cool. Okay, so we'll just we'll just let people raise their hands and share, and um, and we've already got some hands going up. So oh, and now they go down. <laughs> I'm not sure. Up and down. Well, anyway, um, yeah, let's take a look. Uh, so. Um, if you've got your hand raised, I'll, um, what I'll have to do is click ask to unmute and then, and then you'll unmute and then I'll, um, spotlight you. Thanks again, Yasmin. This has been great. Yeah. Um, so we'll go to Yesha and then Kate and then Martha, and then I'll put more in the chat. Okay. Um, hi, Yesha. Hi. Hi. Nice Can to meet you. you. Okay. So, um, so. The funny thing is that like when you were talking about the character, like mm -hmm. the first thing that popped into my head was like a tree because I was thinking of a brain, 
like that's like a person that like is anxious about dementia you know mm-hmm. as they get older and and I was thinking of a brain and I was thinking of like how the branches are like neurons and then and then you chose a root system then I was like ah I don't want to like end up inadvertently copying I should have said it's okay to use the example I gave but yeah yeah but it was just really it was a weird feeling because because I had the idea and then you said it and then I was like oh no like I'm not gonna be able to think my own way through it so so then I was just looking around and I just saw a glue stick. So I, so I made a comic. So this is me like trying to draw my tree at first. And then I was like, uh-huh. and I did a boohoo stick. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, so it's saying what? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, I used to be so smoothly sticky <laughs> now I keep running dry because I forget to put my cover back on. I don't get quality rest that way. Or I get gloopy and leave too much gloopiness all around. No one likes a gloop stick. Get it? Gloop yeah, stick. yeah, I like that. <laughs> Sorry. I like the boohoo stick. That's good yeah. too. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to do. See, I've even glooped all over you. Maybe I should just use myself up and roll under the couch. No one would miss me. That's and I true. wasn't sure whether to stop it there. And then yeah. I was like, I had some time, so I just did or and oh, then no. I didn't write. I didn't think I would get picked first. <laughs> I didn't write what I was thinking. <laughs> here but it was like you know could you find a creative way to recycle me oh yeah <laughs> like this hopeful look <laughs> yeah, I like that little hopeful look that's so, great oh thank I don't know I was like having a hard time making a hopeful look I think that's hard I if think anyone have, has any suggestions yeah doing like happy emotions is really hard I think sometimes it's really easy to do like distraught but when you're happy you don't usually like you don't have a, like a little smile when you're happy or content. So you're kind of just like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so. Sorry for the weird angle of my. No, all good. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay. We'll go to Kate next. And then, um, and then Martha, Christina, McKenna, Jen, et cetera, et cetera. Hi. Hi, Kate. Hi, everyone. I haven't been to one of these in quite a while. And this is a fun one to come back to. Um, so mine's in pencil. You won't be able to s- see very well but know that I drew myself as a a fish oh I like do you know what kind of fish that you're thinking of like a well a a Kate fish oh because that is my actual name oh (laughs) nice Um, nice but uh unknown at this time okay good (laughs) a very small weird salmon um (laughs) anyway uh so the first one is of a fish kind of with other fish in the background and the text reads the rest of my school was so important and so was time spent together and then the next panel is the fish kind of like further ahead and then the main fish kind of at at the far side of the panel and it says over time I drifted behind seeking introversion and boundaries during a time of grief and change And then the next one is like the fish kind of by itself with its, its little face. Yeah. It says, now I seek connection, but I feel so disconnected. And then the final one, which is kind of rough is one fish um, going down one fork of the river and the other fish going the other way. I love that. It's such a great idea. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome, Kate. Thanks so much. Uh, we'll go to Martha next. Let's see. Hey there, Martha from Providence. Hi. <laughs> um, I really liked this idea. And so oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some shapes that were expressive. And I sort of thought kind of like these fig shapes or maybe a kiwi bird. Yeah. And I looked up kiwi bird and then I decided, ah, you know, that's getting a bit complicated. So I kind of went with a much more simplified animal, which isn't a real animal, but I was thinking of the idea of curiosity. um, And I tried to parse it out more poetically. Maybe sometimes I get all tangled up in my thoughts 
and yeah. he's, he's looking in a box. Um, and the box is a little bit inspired by tongues. I don't know if anyone's seen that by Anders Nielsen, but he has this amazing series that revolves around this magic box, kind of like Pandora's box. There's something about a box. If it's closed, you have to open it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's either positive or negative being tangled up in your thoughts. I was trying yeah. to go for a more positive, but curiosity is a is a nice emotion. So that was my idea. Yeah, I really like that. I really like the last uh, panel where it sort of like opens up. I like when people don't do panels, even though I did panels, but (laughs) it looks great. Thanks. Cool, Martha. Thanks. Um, Hey, Yasmin, can you raise your hand again? I think you got lost. Oh, yeah. I real. um... And and we'll go to Christina next. I can see. Oh, I raised my hand again. Sorry. (laughs) All right. So I'm a, I'm a mom and a wife, and I was at work today while I was finding out that both my young adult children and my husband are homesick. Oh, no. Like, oh, yay. You know, and I'm running errands, and I'm fixing dinner, and I'm doing all this stuff, and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm a minivan. <laughs> 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 and and I have I have a minivan that I did not have when my kids were younger. I only got it a couple of years ago. And right now it's 22 years old. Um, I've named her Buttercup because when I bought her, the uh, used car salesman said it was a unicorn, which is like a mythical beast that you're not sure really exists because you've never seen one. It was a 20 year old minivan with 8000 miles on it. Wow. And it cost, yeah, and it cost me $6,000. So it was like, um, and I said, you know, I brought it home and one of my kids went, you bought a beige minivan? I'm like, she's gold. <laughs> it's beige. <laughs> so, so I was looking up minivan pictures to give myself a start. Mm-hmm. And I came up with that. Oh yeah, I like that one a lot. I used to have a Reliant K station wagon. Okay, oh, so that's, that's basically cool car. what we're looking at here in minivan mm-hmm. form. So um, I just did a one page. Oh, nice. So I put myself in a traffic jam <laughs> in a really exciting city with a beautiful river and all that, but I am stuck in the middle of the traffic with my my plywood paneling. <laughs> and then all the cars have little words on them, things like uh, relied upon, stuck, hardworking, tired, dependable, unfashionable, out of date. Yeah, I, mean, I like that a lot. I think that. And uh, really so different. and I also we used to have an AMC Hornet when I was a kid that looked kind of like this. Um, and just to tell you when that was, the color of that car was mellow yellow <laughs> with the brown wood paneling on the side so that's where i am yeah. thank you for sharing Thanks so much christina we'll go to michaela jen kate stephanie so let's see there's michaela please spotlight so uh, hi um so i have been feeling like stagnant and and static and I've always had a connection to televisions I have a tattoo of a tv that I drew oh really cool um so I envisioned feeling like a television Mm -hmm. Uh, oh nice a tv head cool cool. yeah (laughs) Uh, so I made my little comic um I feel so static could really use a change. So here I am changing the channels manually. Mm-hmm. Oh, moving, nice. Moving nice. the antenna. Um, I'm having a hard time picking up signals. So sometimes I have trouble with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I'm constantly shifting emotions, but feel the same. So I've got, you know, comedy, hungry, uh, sad drama somewhere in there with just the clicking of the channels, but I wasn't quite sure where to go from there. So I think I'm going to explore it a little bit more, but I, I really yeah. like this exercise. Yeah. I really like the idea of a TV. I would never think of that, but that's such a good way. I love the idea of the channels. I feel like the channels is a good way to explore it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Michaela. Thanks.
All right, we'll go to Jen next. Let's see. Hey, good Hello. Um, so I wasn't, when you were talking about emotion, I was like, God, I don't know what I feel. Because I'm sort of like in a, I, I've gone through like, so much emotion during the day and energy. I'm just sort of like a calm mess. So I picked the star and those were all of my oh, star great. of like things I can feel as a star. Uh -huh. And um, so I decided I was sort of like calm, excited because like my kitchen is a finish is officially like almost finished. There's only one more thing that has to go to it. So that was exciting. So um, today, I'll, I'll like read it and then show it. This mm -hmm. says, today a student told me I looked, um, I looked stressed out a lot, like all the time. <laughs> Weirdly, I was oblivious to the energy I was giving off to my classes. My own inner life is somewhere between happy joy and happy calm. This is happy joy and this is happy calm. <laughs> Um, it, I also realized that it's supposed to be a star, like you said, star, and I glommed onto that, but it looks more like a cotton ball. So, no, I, I feel like um, it looks like a star. <laughs> okay. Um, I had a lot going on and forgot that my face is a transparent see to all my thoughts. And yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't draw that transparency thing. Uh, right now, I have felt my feels and I'm happy content. That's me with a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. And that's a cranky ass star on the side going, this one needs to get her shine on and stop drinking. <laughs> yeah, I love all these designs. Yeah, I think it's great, like using a character and then like going through different cycles of the character. Like you kind of did like stars, like growing and expanding. And I liked how, you know, there was also like TV channels. That's also a fun thing about doing something that's not human. We wish we could do that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Sharing. Yeah. So cool. Thanks, Jen. We'll go to Kate next. Oops. Hi, Kate. Hi. Um, so I was thinking, I was feeling kind of uh, protective and private, I guess. And so I was kind of playing around with ideas of a turtle. Oh, those are fun. And then I, I just did mostly a, a silent comic. Mm -hmm of just kind of the turtle sort of hiding and then slightly peeking out. Yeah, I love that face. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I was trying to put sort of a almost interested kind of mm -hmm. face, like hmm, maybe let's see what's, yeah, see if it's safe out there. Yeah. That's wonderful. Wow. Oh, thanks, Kate. Thanks. That's a good exercise. Thanks. Okay, we'll go to Stephanie next. Oops, I got to unmute. There we go. Hi. Um, I liked this exercise a lot. And my comic ended up being very meshed because the character designs I was making, I was like, oh, I actually think that this in itself is kind of this little story I want to do. Um, the motion I chose was uh, like rebuilding yourself or like discovering new parts of your personality um, that might feel unfamiliar or scary, mm -hmm. um, but kind of learning to live with it. And so I made a little cell going through my doses and it says growing is hard um, because as soon as you think you're done growing, you change. Mm. Uh, you become unfamiliar to yourself. One second. Uh, it says isolated even. And then... Um, it can also be a wonderful thing, or sorry, it can also be a chance to meet someone new. What a beautiful thing uh, to like that new person. And then the soul's just oh, kind of- so sweet. Them. Look at those little guys. That's great. Oh, guy. <laughs> yeah, so many good ideas. Like I would never think of choosing selves, but they look great. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to KD next. Oh, I was like, yeah, I forgot my name is KD on here. Okay. Okay. Kira. I'm Kira, yeah. <laughs> okay, so something I've kind of been working with recently, but as well my entire life, is um, 
sort of hypersensitivity and how it can make me very easily overwhelmed in environments or with certain like sensory stimuli. Mm -hmm. And so the first thing that came to my mind was this image of like, you know, when you pick up a worm off the ground and it just <laughs> flings itself <Yeah. laughs> terrifyingly in every dimension. Oh man, it's yeah. And so that's the first thing I thought of is like when I come across something that's a no, no, it's like a big no, no. Uh -huh. um, I have to get out of here. Um, here are some little, here are my little like sketches. Oh, look at those little worms. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, how can I make a worm have a face? <laughs> this is, this is the worm getting the willies. This is oh, me like trying to see if I should make faces or just face bubbles. Here's the first wiggle worm. Oh, I love that. That's great. Here's a little sad worm. <laughs> okay. And so then here's my little comic. I did sort of like a day in the life of the worm kind of mm -hmm. thing. Or like, okay, first the little worm's going under the dirt and he's like, mm, yes, there's like one where there's like rainfall and he's like, mm, yes, he finds some little fossils and he's like, mm, yes, <laughs> someone picks him up and he's like, no, <laughs> no, no, thanks. No, 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 no. And then he finds an apple core under the soil and he's like, mm. Yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> just like straight back to business because sometimes it can really feel like just moment by moment, you know. I love the center panel, Kira. That's great. Yeah, yeah. He's like sleeping. I was like, I wanted like an image of like some of the tranquility because sometimes like the worm isn't just stressing out. The worm is just like curled in on itself. It's introspective. It lives in the soil. It doesn't have to come out and get touched by people all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I was like the worm is tranquil the worm yeah, is what it needs cool. to be so yeah there's my worm <laughs> Akira good seeing you good seeing you too thanks so much we'll go to KT next hello hello um the word first of all I love this this was a lot of fun um the word I ended up going with was like stagnant I feel very stuck lately mm -hmm. and so I represented this with a coral polyp um, oh, nice. under the sea and it's saying why can't I go anywhere new they seem to know where they're going am I going to stay here forever why can't I leave when there's so much to explore oh that's great I love that mm -hmm. uh, I think like um yeah. it's interesting so many people are saying that they're stagnant I think it's like it's December you know <laughs> yeah truly the right. hibernation season yeah we're ready <laughs> But yeah, awesome. thank you so much for sharing. Thanks so much. We'll go to Erica next. <laughs> hey, hi. so hi. This is great. Um, so I did a fire and then a dandelion oh. for being anxious, alone, um, upset, uh, scared. Mm -hmm. And so, so fire, cloud, dandelion, I just put ahead. And then in my panel, I did as a cloud and I said, I have a storm in my head with the same uh, raindrops over and over. And then I have to, well, I focus on work, cleaning other projects, and I pray. But the nonstop death ticker of 2020 has turned on a mortality awareness switch that I don't like. Mm -hmm. And then I say it passes from time to time. But then the storm comes back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are some really great drawings. I really like those. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. Awesome, Erica. Thank you. Uh, we'll go to Jesse next. Let's see. Um, there we go. Hey there. Hi. Um, so let me get my page in my notebook. First of all, this was so wonderful. Well, thanks um, so much. I've always, ever since I was a little kid, I've always fixated on bugs. Mm. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I've got some little ca caterpillars oh, yeah. here. Look at those little bug in guys. my notebook. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I've got my little grub under the soil um, and the little grub begins to change and says, ah, this feels better um, as it begins to kind of melt in the cocoon. Mm -hmm. um, and then fi finally the metamorphosis is over and he's like, I don't feel different. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, entomological fact, I suppose, that I've always loved is that butterflies fully melt um, when they're caterpillars in their cocoon. 
Um, but when they become butterflies, they're the exact same and still retain their memories. Um, so that is a artistic thing I've always really loved. Mm -hmm. um, the concept emotion for this was disillusionment. Mm -hmm. um, wanting to change, not sure, not knowing really if you like where you're going or if you'll like it when you get there. Um, mm -hmm. And so that was an idea that really appealed to me. Yeah, I love that. I, lo I didn't know that about bugs. It's it's a it's a cool fact and I'll think about it a lot. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thanks, so, Thanks much. so much. OK, we'll go to Callan or Kaylin. I'm not sure. Here we go. Oh, it's it's Callan. Hi. Um, I'm going to have to turn on the light real quick. Oh, good. Um, okay, so my emotion was quite a, sort of just like sleepy, tired, mm -hmm. um, resting. I moved twice in the past couple months, and I'm moving again, and I'm just taking one. I was taking today to just rest, so mm -hmm. um, I got the idea of like a mushroom. Oh, so cute. Um, like a mushroom or like a, a seed or an embryo. So I kind of combined the different concepts. And then he ended up having this little like soldier hat or like nun hat. Um, and then I tried to do like this ambitious paneling where. Oh, wow. He's sleeping under like in a, a root system and he's having flashbacks, all the things he's gone through. And then he like shivers and pulls a leaf over himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. But that was. That was a little too much, so um, I just made a simpler no panel one mm -hmm. um, that says, I'm so sleepy. Everything has been so much lately. I'm glad I'm safe for now. It's okay to rest for a little while. And then he has a little like embryo growing in his, or a seed or something growing in his, in his brain. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Wow, you did so much in such a little amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much. It's really lovely. Um, Walter's next. So I'm sorry my wife missed this because she's uh, finishing her master's degree in expressive arts therapy, and this will be right up her alley. So oh, hopefully she'll good. get to see the video. Uh, this is wordless, so you guys can probably just look at it. This is my mood after being stuck inside for COVID going on three years now. Oh. Oh. Anchor. Uh, that's it. Had a hamster. That's a little hamster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he even has his wheel. I've spent way too much time on my hamster wheel. I like the wheel though. I was gonna say it helps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People are in the chat saying they're yeah, they feel it. I do too. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank right. you so much for sharing. Got Vicky next. This is this is great, and it's a wonderful way to um, self-express, like in a, in your own journal, right? To give yourself another character. So I found it really helpful. I am guilty today of self-pity, um, and the emotion that I took on was envy. Mm -hmm. So what I did was a firefly. Oh wow! And it says, and I did this with crayons because I don't know where any of my stuff is right now. Oh, but, but the crayons are great. <laughs> thank you. Sometimes I wish I didn't have the burden of emitting light. I wish people couldn't see me, try to trap me, try to steal my flash, my joy. Sometimes I wish I was the baleful cockroach, safely chowing down on crumbs alone in darkness. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, it's great. Thank you for sharing. Thanks, Vicki. Glad Thanks. you're not calling from a hospital tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. Still kind of there, but not there right now. All right. We'll go to Lane next. Um, here we go. Hello. All right. I went through a few different thoughts on this. Uh, my initial response to like picking an emotion was a negative one. Mm -hmm. So I chose joy because I didn't want to do that. <laughs> um, and I always think of like joy as like emitting off of you. So I chose a star as well. Mm -hmm. And I kind of immediately had the idea of like what I wanted sort of this infectiousness mm -hmm. of that light because that's something I also kind of struggle with is like feeling like my optimism is too much so I just did that like the star is happy and it's a little bit too much for this guy over here it's kind of hard to see yeah I can see the face I really like the face thank you but yeah he's like holding a hand over his face and like 
shielding the light, but just simple. Try to yeah. express that like, I don't know, that light. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's great. Nice Thank, Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay, we'll go to Lizzie next. Lizzie, Katie, John. Um, there we go. Yo. Hello. Uh, let's see. I was like feeling maybe kind of inexperienced or young again. So I was like, maybe a baby chick. Oh. <laughs> um, and then when I tried to think of my panel, I just sort of described that. And then I realized I was looking through some old journals yesterday on accident. And I was like, oh no, I felt all these things before. So that's great. Like again. Yeah. So much said. <laughs> I love that. Awesome. Thanks. Um, still got a lot of people with their hands up, Yasmin. And I told myself that when when you got to the top of the grid, I'd ask you how you're feeling. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm happy to see everyone stop. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Get a few more in. All right, we'll go to Katie next. Uh, let's see. I asked on mute and please. There we go. Oh, hello. Um, thank you for for doing this. It's been many, many, many months since I've been able to to come to one of these. I just did a couple of quick little anxiety balloons. Mm -hmm. oh, um, so. so they're Maybe. they're. Um, behind a, a fence that sort of wants to pop them and uh, I don't know I was just thinking about like popping a balloon gives you anxiety and you know like opening up one of those Pillsbury roll things with the, the spoon just things that make you I don't know so those are my anxiety balloons. Yeah. How did you do the like negative space did you put like tape or something or you just um, this is just watercolor and then just marker and pen on top and then this is tape um this is oh, that, just a sticker yeah that's really cool thanks awesome thanks so much katie all right we'll go to john next hi everyone um yeah this is a <clears throat> so i did a sloth i don't know oh, if nice. you can see that very well i have my background on blur so i don't know if that's screwing it up I guess if you keep it close to yourself, maybe. Mm -hmm. Background uh, towards you. Back or back. <laughs> oh, that was yeah, it. On you, your chest. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So just I, I saw this video the other day, just a random animal video, you, YouTube stuff, and this poor sloth was like crawling across a road, like a busy road, and all these a couple of people were taking photographs of him, and I just thought if I was a sloth, I wouldn't really like that <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> i just basically had these these guys following the sloth around taking pictures and um so i don't know the emotion would be kind of strange maybe or feeling like imposed upon by other people i don't know so yeah anyway, thank you that's great yeah there's colored stuff in it's crazy <laughs> thanks so much john oh, great I'm gonna go to mona Hello, Mona. <laughs> Hello, <Sano. laughs> um, so I did mine about a little chameleon. Um, and I, I kind of wanted it to be about like being a little bit paralyzed by fear and also like how contentness kind of breeds stagnation if you're not too careful. Mm -hmm. And also about like slow change. So the first panel is I am a chameleon uh haunted by stories of those who came before me and it's like a cool chameleon who's like a bunch of different like bright colors and he's like holding the sword and he has a mustache yeah um and then for now i will blend in and stay unnoticed uh but i can feel a change coming and like it's kind of hard to tell but there's like a blue tear and like that tear kind of like starts adding color in the last panel oh that's beautiful oh that's so sweet yeah it's a fun little uh it's like a different way to think, I think. Like I don't, it's kind of challenging for me. It's really cool, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. We're gonna go to Mia next. Hi, Mia. Hello. Okay, she said, Mia says, instead of me signing and making people nervous, how about we take a look at the chat box? So here she says, so I chose my car to represent my emotion. My car and I have been through a lot together. Oh, wow. So much up and downs, some awesome days, some horrible days. 
some and have seen some incredible views together despite the literal uphill battles. The frames are partly influenced from David's workshop of films and frames shots last week. Top panel text description, battery is nearing its death. Gas everywhere is too pricey. One headlight is out. Bottom panel text description, with a little self-care, it's still running. Oh, wow. And Mia says, I arrived late to this meeting and perhaps became hyper fixated on perfecting the panel's borders. So it's mostly in pencil. There's a lot of improvement and tweaks to do, which I'm looking forward to completing. Thanks so much, Mia. Thank you. Awesome. We'll go to Daniel next. Once Daniel. Um, well, maybe we won't go to Daniel. We'll go to Karen. Oh, oh, I, Karen. There we go. Sorry, am I on now? Yeah. Um, I did my drawing on my iPad, so I'm just going to try and share. Okay. If this doesn't work, I apologize. Oh, only the host can share. Okay, I can show you what I drew. It's all right. Picture of your phone, and yeah, I don't know. If you have it's your okay. iPad, I, like, it'll take you can hold your iPad. Out. Yeah, you can hold it like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. All right, let us know if you figure it out, and definitely social media. I'm going to post it in the chat again, uh, hashtags and stuff like that. Um, all right, thanks, Daniel. Karen, we'll go to. Hello. Oh, hang on. There we go. Hi. Okay. Um, I'm embarrassed, but okay. So I, I did bumper car, bumper oh. cars. Is that what they're called? Bumper cars. And that yeah. I feel stuck. And um, first I was trying to do it. I was first going to do a, a bag of chips that couldn't fall. You know, when you, you try to get a candy and it gets stuck, but I couldn't mm -hmm. do that. So this is what I did. I wrote this is, okay, so here's all the other bumper. I don't know how to draw them that well, but they're all like, there's love, there's um, LOL, haha, -ha, um, flirting, moving around, music. And I'm over here. This is me stuck, 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 stuck. I'm a bumper car. Everyone is moving along, laughing and having fun. And I'm stuck on the corner, tangled up. I can't move. I hate this. I love those and, drawings. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel. I feel like I'm like, you know, that kid in the corner who can't figure out how to do it. And everyone else is like in heaven having so much fun. Yeah, I definitely know how that feels. <laughs> I love that. That's such a creative idea. You guys are so creative. I would never think of these things, but they're great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Karen. We'll go to Kathy next. There we go. Oh. I'm going to try putting up the iPad, see if it works. And yeah. I think Tom, uh, it'd be easier if you just read it. Um, sure. And I, uh, I kind of went with the whole mushroom theme that Callan did, but not that way. Wow. <laughs> so. All right. So it's a, oh, look at that. How did I get here? I used to be so young. It's panel two. Panel Want to play hide and seek? For a while, I felt um, strong and competent. All, all that and a bag of chips, really. My body changed, my hips hurt, I'm breaking down, literally. Oh, look at it doing that. I worry about what comes next. And it's like this, oh. Wow, I love that. Yeah, it's great like to see someone do one version of a mushroom and then another. Like there's so much you can do, but yeah. Thanks, thanks. for thanks for the concept of a, another way to get at character development. Um, really, really helpful this evening. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. Cool. Thanks so much, Kathy. We'll go to Emma next if she's there, and then Kendall, and then Kat. Let's see, Emma. Okay, and replace Valley. Oh yeah, that's a trick. Hello. Yes, I. Oh, have that's it. smart. <laughs> wow. What? Um, thank you for hosting this workshop. I found it really cathartic. So um, thank you. I was feeling kind of overwhelmed, um, lots of anxiety about a lot of different things. So I was thinking about like a locusts or cicadas and sort of like mm. a swarm of bugs. Um, and so <laughs> what's the thing? Um, I'll read through it because it's probably a little small, but um, mm -hmm. we have a little cicada going down to a leaf. Hang on guys, just give me a, give me a second. Sigh. I've forgotten why I like flying so much. I would hibernate in the ground and dream of flying. 
Now that I'm above ground, it's like the wind changed direction and every dream I had was blown out of my tiny exoskeleton. I woke up one day and like, boom, gone. I could sit on this leaf forever, I think, or at least two days, then I'll starve and die. Shoot. And then they go off and join the, the locusts again, the cicadas back with their flock. Yeah, I love that. That's so great. I love the end where they go out of, out of the panel together. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Um, Emma, thank you. Uh, we'll go to Kendall next. Let's see. Hey, there we go. Well, hello. Um, <laughs> hey. um, thanks for hosting this. Yeah, um, I made a comic um, about work because I feel like I have a complicated relationship to work um mm -hmm. so I I guess I'll just show so I made like like this little it's hard to see like this little egg character oh I love it it's like an egg clock yeah it's like an egg in a timer I guess mm -hmm. and um I don't know if the screen is like mirrored um but uh I hey. huh you can read it. It's like not mirrored. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So for, I kind of thought of an egg because like I look at EEGs all day and then I misread it as egg. And then I'm like, okay, egg. <laughs> um, the comic says, um, it's okay. I just work. And then it's okay if it hurts. Mm -hmm. And then so like the egg is just sort of getting melty. Mm -hmm. Um so I just, I don't know, it's sort of meant to capture complicated feelings I have about like work and like having a career and living under capitalism. Um, yeah. but, I love that. Yeah, I love that. Um, the like you said, I think the thing that's cool about characters is you can like, you know, like an egg run. So you can actually use that to like express yourself. But I love the little shoes. Jesus, <laughs> you guys, the class went over. Oh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. That's yeah, thanks. thanks so much, Kendall. That's great. All right, we'll go to Kat next. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. Um, I made the drawings on on uh, just little cards, and I it's like a, a little um, it's like a little bird. Oh, that's that's in an egg, and it says, um, I wonder what goes on outside. I think I, I'm, I was not mute, uh, unmuted before. Uh, we can hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, then after saying, um, I wonder what goes on outside, it says, um, is this really, is this really, um, is this my whole world in here? It's too tight. What if I work things a little bit? Um, or a lot. Mm. Uh, something just happened. Uh, I broke free. Wow. And um, can I take off? I can fly. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's great that you did them on cards. That's like really fun because I like when you moved it when you were saying it. It helped. Yeah, I really like that. Thanks. Thank, you for Thank you so much. That's great. Thank you. Thank okay, you. There. If they're there, there we go. Ask to unmute and place the spotlight. All right. Hi. Um, this is uh, super fun. So thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. I I made the drawing. I want to share my screen. Actually, show that and like walk through that. Um. Oh, I can't share my screen. Yeah. Can you do the trick that 
I think. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do the the thing. So show you like this. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I was thinking about like just being tangled and stuff, and I was like thinking about also change and hope. And lately, like I made like a kind of a big decision that to say like, create a change. Uh, but then also after that, they, there came like a lot of like anxiety and thought. And my character here says, um, why do I use change? Um, and then they say, uh, as a means of generating hope. And I was driving through uh, 101 yesterday thinking about this. And I says, could it be that I'm a change abuser? Because I sometimes think about that, that constantly tangling and detangling myself. So there's like holding like a little strand of like their, I guess, root yeah. system entanglement. Yeah, I love the just like doing like tangling itself. That's such a great yeah. use of, yeah, just a concept and making it a thing. Yeah, it looks great. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. And um, again, everybody, don't forget to share on social media. We can have permanent, semi permanent records of some of these. <laughs> We're gonna, yeah, um, just see them again. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go to Michael Ashner next, if Michael's there. Michael, if you want me to read, just say so. Um, let's see. Also got to share your screen or something. All right, maybe Michael's not there. We'll come back to you, Michael. We'll go to Isa next. There we go. Hello. Um, thank you for hosting and facilitating this. To yeah. work with this. Um, I wrote down, I was kind of going off of like a feeling of being inward and really like protecting like alone time and like being cozy. Um, so I hope you can see uh, this is the character. Oh, so cute. And we've got this kind of like patched up little home. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I didn't get to like making a comic out of it, but the final frame was gonna be kind of looking inside and that's like from inside of the shell. Oh, that's so um, sweet. Yeah. Trying I like, yeah, I like that it has the same chains as you do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh my god, you guys did so much. What? <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. I love that last panel. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to Marlene next. Oh wait, Michael's back. Marlene, hang on. We'll go to we'll go to Michael. Hello. Um, I'll read it, Michael, if you like. Uh, I can't live like this. Wow, look at that. I refuse. I may be done. Whoa. Wow. Again, I'm just amazed by how much you guys were able to do in like 15 minutes. You saw what I could do. So you're all amazing. <laughs> I think some of them have been working while we've been sharing. Okay, good point. <laughs> still. <But still. laughs> Thanks so much, Michael. Awesome to see you. Okay, um, we'll go to Marlene, or Marlene, and then we will find Jamie and then call it a night, I think. Let's see. Hello. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm uh, just organizing myself. First of all, thank you so much, Yasmin and, to and Tom, especially for staying a bit longer. For us slow coaches to catch up. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, um, my uh, depiction of emotion today is all about flowers and a little insect. It's not really a bug that you would see. It I created it myself. And there are no words um, basically in the frames, but suggestions of thoughts or ideas. In the first one, you can see... Um, one of the hosts suggested we, we draw a background. So I drew a bridge with a moon and a little bit of a mountain landscape. And I said, um, in the bubble, striking and peaceful, says the daffodil. And the daffodils really seems happy and uh, very proud to show her beautiful petals. So the emotion there is happiness. In the next panel, the um, sort of um, alien grub has a thought and says, what is down there? 
with the um, light bulb going on and question mark, I'm sort of interested in the in the environment. And um, next, uh, just having a look. So the grub says, what? Yum. And sees another little flower. It then unfolds its proboscis and pushes it down into the, the, the flower where there's lovely nectar to drink. And uh, the grub is so happy and says in the end, Ah, this is so beautiful. And those little squiggles are for my audience to put in there whatever they want to, um, you know, make from the, the pictures. Um, and but, but the grub is totally com happy and content. And uh, yeah, thank you for um, uh, allowing me to share today. Yeah, thank you. I love the drawings of the flowers. And I love, yeah, it's just so pretty. The watercolors look great. Yeah, uh, I, I must have cheated because I had a bit of time. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> it's smart. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So beautiful. Awesome. We usually close out with Jamie if Jamie's around. I don't know if Daniel figured out a way to share without the screen sharing. If you did, we can go to you real quick. All right, let's see. What do you think? What do you think, Daniel? Did you get it? Yeah, I think I got it. All right, here we go. We'll replace you. And then All we'll right. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. So <clears throat> I can't actually, oh, is it mirrored? No, no, I, I, I can read it. Okay, so I'm not actually an illustrator, so I went with something really simple. I was trying to handle this tricky emotion at work of feeling like you're alone or your jobs could get cut, even though I work in a large place with lots of, I think, supportive people. Mm -hmm. So I just went with like a little tuft of grass um that in the shorter panels or the smaller panels at the top say why do I feel and at the wide panel at the bottom it says so alone and ori originally I had them alone and then I realized it's so much more I think meaningful and gets to the feeling that I was trying to sort out of um feeling alone even though you're actually around lots of people who sometimes are really great and supportive so you realize it's your own feeling you have to kind of work through uh, yeah, it doesn't describe your situation accurately sometimes. Wow. Yeah, I love that a lot. That's such a great idea. I think the like negative space in the paneling and keeping it separate is also a great way to evoke that. Thank you. Thanks for coming back to me too, Tom. Sure thing. Thanks, Daniel. Um, let's see, I'm going to remove Spotlight and um, look for Jamie. We tend to close out with Jamie. She tends to be our closer. Sometimes I can't find her. There you are. You want to? Do you want to show? Okay. There you go. The Kurt Russell that we want to see, and then Jamie's awesome stories and art after that. Oh yeah, it it won't let me unmute. So I was saying, I think I'll do it. No, I shouldn't do it. I think I'll do it. No, I shouldn't do it. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> all right. Here was the dumb thing that I made. Uh, that was like my original character, mm -hmm. and it was gonna be like. Um, you feel guilty. Well, how do you represent that? So, okay. Just, I, I shouldn't share this. This is really bad, no, but I'm going to do it. All right. Okay. Hold on. And there's a way to do it with Kurt in the background and still it's okay. All right. Uh, okay. The guilt that I feel is because my mom needed a caregiver and I thought it should be me because the family kind of thought it should be me because I'm like the loser who lives in New York and has no property, no money and no prospects. So I thought about it. I mean, I watched hundreds of hours of caregiver videos. I did everything I could, but like she needs more than I could give. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a bad caregiver. I don't, it's not that I don't care. I just don't know what I'm doing. And that's a bad that's a big caregiver. So here was me trying to do it. Hold on, ma. Breakfast served in a sec. And she's like over here like, what? You know, don't put the Worcestershire sauce in the, you know, cream dried beef. That's what Aunt Lo did. It ruined it every time. And you're like, you know, she gets sick and you're, she's trying to get to the bathroom with the walker. She forgets the walker. My heart is sinking into the toilet. The rain is happening outside. The beautiful hey, blinds that she has like, I mean, her place was beautiful. And then you're, you start entertaining the notion, should I live here? Should I try to be the caregiver? You try, you try. 
And in your mind, you're like, yeah, maybe I'm going to do it because there, here's the hospital, but then there's assisted living. And then what the brother doesn't tell you, oh, if you don't do it, the house is going up for sale and she's going there. So in one week this happened and now that's me. That's me at the bottom. The choice was stolen from me. I feel guilty. I swear to God, if my family watches this, I'm going to, I'll be, be assassinated and ostracized from whatever I have left. But anyway, I feel guilty, I'm guilty that I didn't know how to pack and move all my stuff by myself. Guilty that I didn't, you know, that I uh, to, and lose my home in New York city to become a nurse, ignored, relearn how to drive, uh, all this, these things and find a new way to make a living all by myself. I needed to help. And I asked for it but nobody listened. So now, and now it's too late. And now it's too late because now she's in the assisted living home. And then this stupid fish over here is like, you look like you could use a kiss. What's wrong? Well, Jesus Christ, stupid fish with the big fish lips, everything. Everything's wrong, except for the comics class that I get to do on Friday nights. And thank you for having me. The end. <laughs> Namaste. I love the heart like sinking into the like toilet. That's like such a good image. To describe Thank what you're you. Doing. Yeah, I, I don't have any tattoos, but if I do get one, maybe that will be it. Yeah, it's a cool tattoo. <laughs> thank you. Um, thanks, Jamie. I'm going to replace it with Yasmin. Yasmin, thank you. Oh my God, so much. I, you yeah, should do at least half responsibility. Awesome. For comics. Give the for her name. Yeah. You gave. Uh, um, sorry, somebody's unmuted. I think it's Jamie still. Oh, um, sorry. I'll, I'll mute myself. Or. <laughs> anyway thanks for going along with us and thanks for giving us this great prompt people are really feeling it and giving giving such great great little characters and stuff i really am really happy thank you so much yeah thank um, you so much it's uh, been a pleasure sorry <laughs> just well, to see everything but all right i'll just well let's let's everybody unmute and say thank you to yasmin and go buy yasmin's book thank you thank you thank you Fantastic, Yasmin. I have your book right here. I'm so happy to do this over and over again. Thank you so much. It was awesome. That's so cool. Thank you for making me draw. You can make me draw. Exactly, right?